Welcome to the second video in this course. We're going to start off this course by looking at customers and adding customers. In this video, we will go through adding a customer or several customers to QuickBooks. The layout for QuickBooks is generally always the same. We have our main screen in the center and to the right, and we have a sidebar down the left with a number of different pages and links. By default, you generally always come to the home screen, which is this screen which is on display. If we click on the customer page, we are taken to the customer screen. First of all, there's a few things we should note about the top of this page. We have some information available to us, such as the monetary value of any invoices on the system that are currently unpaid. We also have the monetary value of any overdue invoices so invoices that have gone past their payment terms and we have information for invoices paid in the last day so the amount of money that has come in to the business and has paid a credit invoice in the last 30 days we also have a box on the end which is which is to do with quotes raising quotes on quickbooks the majority of you won't be using quotes on quickbooks so most of you can ignore this last box and you'll be using these three boxes to refer to. On the customer screen, we have a list of customers down the bottom. This may be blank for you if you have not yet added any customers to QuickBooks. I currently have added one customer. That's the bookkeeping master. So in this video, let's add another customer. Now to do that, we go to the top right and click on new customer. You'll notice there is a drop down box with other features and other options available, but we won't be using those features in this video. Simply just click new customer. You'll then get the customer information box appear and we can start filling in the details. So I'm going to add a new customer and that customer is going to be BPFS Limited. That's the name of my company. But we don't put the company name in first. We actually put in the contact there. So we have a title, a first name, a middle name, and a last name. My name is Sam Morton. So I'm going to put that as the contact at BPFS. You'll notice the display name is filled in automatically from the contact name. The display name is the name that will appear on our customer list on the screen previous to this one. The company is BPFS Limited. I want the display name to be the company rather than the contact name, so I can change that by putting BPFS Limited in the box. I can then add the address of the business. So 123 Easy Road. This is a, a false address city, BPFS town, the state or county. Let's put Essex the zip code or postal code and then the country you can add other contact details for the customer like an email address phone number a mobile telephone number if that's different from a landline a fax number 
any other contact you may have for them, perhaps like a Skype address or other address, a website. And then if they have a shipping address, which is different from the billing address, you can untick the same as billing address and fill in the shipping address. For most of you, the billing address will be the same as the shipping address. You'll notice there are some tabs here and we can add further information about this customer on these tabs. We have a notes tab where you can add notes about the customer a tax tab and a payment and billing tab. Most of you will only use the address tab, but the payment and billing tab can come in handy if you have different payment terms for different customers. You'll notice that we can enter terms here. If we click the drop down box, there is net 15 days, net 30 days and net 60 days and also an option to add new payment terms. If your payment terms are the same for all customers, then simply ignore this and click save. If they are different for individual customers, then choose your option or add an option and click save. Once we're ready, we will save the customer. You'll then be taken to the customer's account. But if we go back to the customer screen, you'll see BPFS now appears on our customer list.